Almighty God. Everybody get chased their hand, but praise the Lord. Hallelujah. I'm going to really love God tonight. Yes, sir. I'm going to believe God is good to you. Yes, sir. Yes. I'm going to believe God is good for you. Yes, sir. I'm going to believe God is good in you. Yes. See, a lot of times, man, we blame God for something that we're doing. I'm going to show you some stuff tonight. My message tonight is crucify the flesh. Uh -huh. Right. Yes, amen. So you hear me, church? Yes, sir. And I'm going to do a two, three, four part series on this one. Because I cannot teach all this in one night. Amen. That's no way. I mean, God has been giving me some revelation on this stuff, man. I'm telling you. A, a lot of times we blame the devil for something, and he ain't got nothing to do with it. Right? That's right. I, I remember hearing a joke. I was telling the joke today. Uh, there was this revival broke out, and it was packed with people. Everybody was coming up the steps, you know. And there was this fellow sitting out there on, on the porch, on the steps there. And one of the guys asked him, uh, but you come to the service and all, because everybody keep lying on me. And finally, <laughs> the devil. But they want to come to the church service because everybody was lying on me. He's all these people lying on me saying, I made them do it, and I told them to do it. I had nothing to do it. And you're going to see in the word of the Lord. That's just a joke now. But, <laughs> but you're going to see in the word. But a lot of things that you're doing, and you're saying the devil is making you do it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to show you proof tonight that it's flesh. Okay. Total flesh. Mm -hmm. Totally your flesh. Before we do that, let's take an offering up very quick. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. And God love. What kind of giving? Cheerful giving. Hallelujah, Jesus. So that means y'all get ten thousand tonight. <laughs> you take us all the lunch. Ten million. Ten million. I will once um, I get it. Glory to God forever. Now you give me ten thousand. Give me twenty-five pushups. Hey. <laughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. I knew I came right in time. Yeah, yeah. Let's see how that works. Get the money. Get the money. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Mother, you know you better give a thousand. I did. <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord forevermore. How many brought your Bible tonight? Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. I say this everywhere I go. Never walk in nobody's church without your Bible. Amen. <laughs> always bring your sword. Okay, always bring it. Because what if I preach a lie? And you go back and you believe that? Oh, no. Mm. And I didn't have scripture to back it up. And then you go and preach that lie, too. Uh-oh. Come on, Always tell people, if you're not getting chapters and verse, what church you go to, you have a right to leave. Mm-hmm. They're not giving you chapters and verse. They're not feeding you with the word of God. You have a right to leave. Amen. If you had your Bible, turn me to 1 John. We're going to go there first. Glory to God. Y'all y'all brothers? You and him, brother? Huh? Y'all so look alike. My goodness. Lord of mercy. Hallelujah, Jesus. Give God the glory. Amen. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Glory to God forevermore. Hallelujah, Jesus. First John chapter one, chapter five. Look at verse twenty-one. Tyrone, read verse twenty-one for me. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Amen. Amen. One more time. Read one more time. Little children, keep yourselves from idols. Amen. 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 Idols. The stuff that you shook up. And there's a satanic force that comes in and set up shop in your mind. Idols. Drug is an idol. Alcohol is an idol. Lust is an idol. Are oh, you hear me, church? Yes, sir. Anger and pride is an idol. Are oh, you hear me, church? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's an idol. Pride is an idol. You can go into the poorest neighborhood in the world and somebody just bought a brand new bicycle. Pride was saying, look at my bicycle. Look at my bicycle. 
pride. You want everybody to see what you got. See how much stuff your stuff call. Anytime you tell people all the time how much your stuff call, calls, calls, call, that's pride. That's an idol. Are you hearing me, church? Amen. Are y'all with me? Amen. Yes, sir. From all idols. Anger <clears throat> is an idol. Are you hearing me? It's an idol. Hallelujah, Jesus. I see more preacher people mad at the preacher and mad at God and the thing that they allowed. Mm -hmm. Hate the preacher and cuss them out. And it's them. Mm -hmm. Oh, you hear me, church? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. yes, sir. You see you love the Lord tonight? Yes, yes sir. sir. I was one of them guys. When I was a bouncer in the nightclub, I hated preachers. I hated them. Hated Christians. We used to make fun of them. Make fun of them. And found out, after I got saved, I was the hypocrite. I was. <coughs> Hallelujah, Jesus. And then when God don't come and do it your way, do it when you want to do it, then you want to flip him off. Mm -hmm. right. Talk bad. Talk junk about God. And when we are doing something wrong, mm -hmm. God don't bless sin. Amen. Amen. He only bless righteousness. Yeah. As long as you're living in sin, don't expect God to come and do anything for you. Because He ain't going to do it. He only bless righteousness. Amen. Oh, you hear me, church? Yes, sir. Oh, Jesus, help us, help us, help us, help us. Amen. What a mighty God we serve. Amen. Amen. Go be to Peter, first Peter. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Well, let me make sure. Hallelujah, Jesus. Oh, thank you, Jesus. Can you get to say glory? glory. glory. Chapter glory. chapter two, I believe. First Peter chapter two. Yeah. It's like the one two chapter before that. Hallelujah, Jesus. First Peter. First Peter. Come on, Brother Ricky. Verse 9. Verse 9. 2, verse 9. But ye are chosen generation, a royal priesthood, and holy nation, a peculiar people, that ye should show forth the praises of him who have called you out of darkness into his marvelous light. It's marvelous light. You've been, you been called out of darkness into his marvelous light. There's no way you can live in darkness when you got the light of God flowing inside of you. But you can always tell when a man or a woman live in darkness, just check their attitude out. Amen. Check, the, check who they hang out with. Just check them. Watch who they hang out with. You can tell. You can always tell when a person in the Word of God. Because what's come out of that person is love. Love. Compassion. He wants to help somebody. He wants to do good. He can't wait to talk to God. He cannot wait. Are you with me, church? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. Job got beat up by the devil so bad and he never even charged it to God foolish. He didn't even say God was your fault. But how many times we say God is your fault? How many times you ever said this? Why did this happen to me? Why, 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 why? Amen. Yes. Why God letting it happen to me? No, 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 no. You are letting it happen to you. You are. You sure you love God today? Yes. Oh, yeah. Sure. Always remember this. There's always gonna be people not gonna like you. Y'all better you better get that straight. They didn't like Jesus. I people hated Jesus. Hated him. And all he did was the right thing. Amen. All he did is the truth. All he did is help people. All he did is heal people, change people's life. And guess what? He was still hated. Everybody ain't gonna like you, church. Everybody ain't gonna like your message. But what do you do? You keep on Amen. trucking. You yeah, keep on doing what God tell you to do. Yeah. That's what the Bible says. Don't be afraid of their faces. Mm -hmm. Are you with your church? Amen. Yes, sir. Jesus is awesome. He's a, and never let no man or woman intimidate you when you preach the gospel. Always preach the gospel the way God gives it to you. Amen. Are you here in church? Amen. And boy, when you do it the way God do you, you want to please Him. Don't ever try to please man. Please God. And when you please God, He'll please the people. Amen. Amen, Amen. church. Amen. Y'all love the Lord? Yes, yes. sir. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. Go with me to Romans chapter 8. 
chapter 7 first. Chapter 7. Chapter 7. Oh, Jesus. I'm in a good mood tonight. All right. Ain't nothing wrong with that. The Lord, and then God forever. It's so much stuff, and that's why I said I need to do a two or three parts on this thing. Make a left. Make a big left. Well, before you go to chapter 7 and 6, go to chapter 5, and everybody go to verse 21. <laughs> you got it? Hallelujah, hallelujah. Verse 21. George, are you there yet? You got it, brother? I got it. Oh, okay, well, go ahead, George. Read it. <laughs> read it loud now. That as sin hath reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life by Jesus Christ our Lord. Glory to God. Oh, y'all, did y'all get that? Yeah. Read it one more time, sister, because I want them to hear it. That as sin hath reigned unto death, even so might grace reign through righteousness unto eternal life. By awesome. Jesus Christ our Lord. Oh, yeah. Righteousness. Right. Righteousness. Righteousness. Awesome. righteousness. Awesome. That's how you get blessed. To righteousness. Amen, church? Amen. We still, we still in verse still in verse six, chapter six. Okay, brother, right here. Read verse twelve. Listen to this now, church. Let not sin therefore reign in your mortal body that ye should obey it in the lust thereof. Keep going. Neither yield ye your members as instruments of unrighteousness unto sin, but yield yourself unto God as those that are alive from the mm -hmm. dead, and the, your members as instruments of righteousness unto God. Keep going. For sin shall not have dominion over you, mm -hmm. for ye are not under the law, but under mm -hmm. grace. Keep going. Keep going. What then? Shall we sin? Because we are not under the law, but mm -hmm. under the grace, God forbid. <laughs> mm -hmm. Keep going, keep going. Know ye not that to whom ye yield yourselves servants to obey, his servants ye are to whom ye obey, whether of sin unto death or of obedience unto righteousness. Wow, one more skin. Oh, but let's God that. be thanked. Keep going. That we were the servant, we're the servants of sin, but ye have obeyed from the heart that form of doctrine which was delivered you. Verse eighteen. Being then made free from sin, ye become the servants of righteousness. You might well keep going. You might well keep going. I speak after the manner of men because of the infirmity of your flesh, as ye have yielded your members servants to uncleanliness. And equity, inequity, iniquity, iniquity unto iniquity. Even so, now yield your members to righteousness and to holiness. Keep going, keep going, keep going. For when we were the servants of sin, ye were free from righteousness. What fruit had ye then in those things whereof ye are now ashamed? For the end of those things is death. Wow. But now being made from, free from sin and become servants of God, ye have your fruit unto holiness and the end everlasting life. Look at that last verse. <laughs> For the wages of sin is death. And the gift of God is eternal life in Jesus Christ our Lord. Let me tell you something, my brother and sister. You got to quit blaming stuff on God. He said, when you become a child of God, sin have no more dominion over you. Right. I can say scripture what the Bible says, go and sin no more. Right. Go and sin no more. Amen. Amen. When you go to John chapter 5, say go to I want y'all to hear this. Go to John chapter 5, then we're gonna go back to the, to the epistles. We're trying to kill that flesh today, tonight, church. It's the flesh that stops us. It's the flesh. The Bible calls it earthy. That means corner. Corner Christians. Corner. John 5. Verse, I think, what, 6 and 7? Am I right? Go. Yeah, take, just go to the, yeah, go and send them all. That's the worst thing. Go ahead, read that one. So, 5.14. For, 
Afterward, Jesus findeth them in the temple, and said unto them, Behold, thou art, thou art made whole. Sin no more, lest the worst thing come unto thee. See what happened when you sin? The worst thing will come up on you. Mm -hmm. He said, go and sin no more unless a worst thing come up on you. I'm telling you, there are worst things that will come, in, will come up on you. What did the Bible say? When the devil goes out of a man, if he find that place swept clean, he's going to bring seven more demons more wicked than the first one. I'm telling you, once God saved you and changed you and you go back to that stuff, guess what? You're worse. And you're mad at everybody. Yes. Mm -hmm. wow. Everybody. And nobody can tell you nothing because you got walls up. And God do this right over you. God do this. She do this. And walk right over you and bless the man next to, to you. But no. you kidding me? You kidding me? Flesh. Flesh. We're still in Roman, right? Go to chapter seven. Brother Jeff. Yes, sir. Start with verse. <laughs> oh, just start with verse 13. Uh, 12. Go 12. 7 12. 7 12. Romans. Therefore, the law is holy, and the commandment holy, and just and good. How then what is good became death to me? Certainly not, but sin, that it might appear sin, was producing death in me through what is good, so that sin through the commandment might become exceedingly sinful. For we know that the law is spiritual, but I am carnal, sold under sin. For what I am doing I do not understand. For what I will to do that I do not practice, but that I hate, that I do. If then I do what I will not to do, I agree with the law that it is good. But now it is no longer I who do it, but the sin that dwells in me. Uh, wow. hmm. Keep going. For I know that in me that is, in my flesh, nothing good dwells. Mm -hmm. For the will is present with me, but how to perform what is good, I do not find. Mm -hmm. For the good that I will to do, I do not do. But the evil I will not to do, that I practice. Why? Mm -hmm. Now, if I do what I do not do, if I do what I will not to do, it is no longer I who do it, but sin that dwells in me. I find in the law that evil is present with me, the one who wills to do good. Who present with him? Evil. He, evil. evil. Yeah. He's right there with you. Mm -hmm. Every time you try to do right, you end up doing it wrong. Because evil is present. It's right there with you. Mm -hmm. Talking to you. I don't want to go drink today, and you go. I don't want to do drugs today, and you do it. Evil is present. Yes. What do you think anger is? Evil. Totally evil. It's present. It's right there, present. Don't blame it on God. Well, brother Sherman, I don't want to go do drugs today. How many times you say, I don't, I don't want to smoke today? I'm not, no, I'm not bashing because you smoke. And all of a sudden you do. You need to learn the difference. Are you with me? Amen. Amen. What verse are we in now? Go. I find a, then a law that evil is present with me, the one who wills to do good. For I delight in the law of God according to the inward man, but I see another law in my members. Uh oh. -uh. Where? Where? My members. Remember. Flesh. Warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity of the law of Wait, sin. wait, wait. Back up. Read that again because I want y'all to hear this. Look what he said now. But I see another law in my members. Warring against the law of my mind and bringing me into captivity to the law of sin which is in my members. Oh, wretched man that I am, who will deliver me from the body of death? I thank God, through Jesus Christ our Lord, <laughs> so then with my mind I myself serve the law of God, but with the flesh the law of sin. Oh, there it is. Now, oh, yeah. oh. it's in your mind. That's the idol in your mind. A satanic force set of idols in your mind. Mm. Sin. 
evil is present. It's present. Why do you think you blame God so much stuff? Because the devil whispered in your ear, God, it's God's fault, it's God's fault. Mm -hmm. Then you get mad at God. And that, if you go open your eyes, you see the dumb devil talking to you. He's talking to you. And you want to know why you can't get victory in your life. Because you're mad at the wrong one. Why don't you take it out on the devil? You could take it out on God. So you dumb thief, you've been stealing from me long enough. Then take it out on yourself. For that, you're going to line up with the word of God today. Are you with me? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's, it's about the issue. We're going to it's about to show up right up in here. I'm telling you, you don't like it, you better leave now. <laughs> Chapter 8. Oh, come on, Jeff. Let me get you again. Verse 1. There is therefore now no condemnation to those who are in Christ Jesus, Ooh, Jesus. who don't walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. How many are walking after the flesh? I can tell you, when you walk after the flesh, you're going to do the flesh things. You walk after the Spirit, you're going to do the spiritual thing. Oh, you hear me, sister? I hear you. <laughs> You got to get home after the spirit thing. Amen, amen. Oh, keep going, brother. Verse 2. For the law of the spirit of life in Christ <laughs> Jesus has made me free from the law of sin and death. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 Okay, keep going. Verse For what the law could not do in that it was weak through the flesh, God did by sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh on account of sin, he condemned sin in the flesh. And that the righteous requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us who do not walk according to the flesh, but according to the Spirit. For those who live according to the flesh, they set their minds on the things of the flesh. But those who live according to the Spirit, the things of the Spirit. Oh, snap. Yeah. For to be carnally minded is death. Death. But to be spiritually minded is life and peace. Amen. Because the carnal mind is enmity against God, for it is not subject to the law of God, nor indeed can it be. For then those who are in the flesh cannot please God. There it is. Keep going. But you are not in the flesh, but in the Spirit, if indeed the Spirit of God dwells in you. Now if anyone does not have the Spirit of Christ, <laughs> he is not his. Oh, snap. You and better if get so. Christ is in you, the body is dead because <laughs> of sin, but the Spirit is life because of righteousness. Keep going. But if the Spirit of him who raised Jesus from the dead dwells in you, he who raised Christ from the dead will also give life to your mortal bodies through his Spirit who dwells in you. Amen. 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 Keep yeah, keep going. Therefore, brethren, we are debtors, <laughs> not of the flesh, to live according to the flesh. For if you live according to the flesh, you will die. Oh, but if by God. the Spirit you put to death the deeds of the body, you will live. For as many are as led by the Spirit of God, these are the sons of God. One more. For you did not receive the spirit of bondage again to fear, but you received the spirit of adoption by whom we cry out, Abba, Father. Verse 16. The Spirit himself bears witness with our spirit that we are children of God. And if children, then heirs, heirs of God, and joint heirs with Christ. If indeed we suffer with him, we also will be glorified together. Amen. Oh, my God. Hallelujah. Thank you. You hear that? Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Are oh, y'all seeing this? Mm -hmm. Look what God say. If you follow after the flesh, you shall die. Mm -hmm. Die. You keep on putting drugs in your body, you die. Right. You keep on. Like I say, this is not bashing you, so don't get mad at me. Keep on smoking a cigarette and watch emphysema and cancer visit you. <laughs> Oh, you hear me? Yes, sir. Mm -hmm. And how many warning God give us? Stop, 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 and we don't. He said, if you fall after the flesh, you shall die. You will die. So God, you will die. And I'm going to show you another scripture. We're talking about the flesh. Yes, I'm going to show you how to get out of this, how to get free from this. Amen. Y'all see, I love the Lord today. Yes, yes sir. sir. Glory to Hallelujah. God. Glory to God. We love you, Jesus. Go with me. 
the Romans, we're still in Romans. Oh, hallelujah, Jesus. <coughs> Romans chapter 13. Come on, Ricky. Verse 12 and 13 and 14. The night is far spent, the day is at hand. Let us therefore cast off the works of darkness, and let us put on his armor of light. Amen. Let us walk honestly as in the day, not in rioting and drunkenness, not in chambering want and wantonness, not in strife and envy. But put ye on the Lord Jesus Christ, and make not provision for the less to fulfill the lust thereof. <laughs> Amen. Do y'all see that? Amen. That's awesome. That means that there's another, there's another armor you can put on besides the daily armor. And to put on Jesus. How do you put on Jesus? Get up in the morning and start praising, praying in the spirit, worshiping him, reading the word. Amen. That's Hallelujah. how you put him on. That's and awesome. then you won't feel the lust at all. Hallelujah. Put on the Lord Jesus Christ. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Put on him. You're going to be walking here all angry and mad at everybody. <laughs> Put on the Lord Jesus Christ. You'll be walking around here bitter. Amen. Cussing out preachers. Amen. With attitude. Don't nobody want to hang around some more rot attitude person walking around with anger. The Bible says don't even hang out with an anger man unless you learn his way and become like him. The Bible says anger rests in the bosom of souls. Yes. 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 Amen. Yes. Amen. Don't hang out with him. They won't be angry, they'll be angry all by themselves. Right. Are you with me, church? Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Sure. Y'all see y'all love the Lord today? Yeah. Yeah. I told you I feel good today. Oh, go with me. Where? <laughs> go with me to... Remember a couple weeks ago I gave this verse. Go with me to 1 Corinthians chapter 15. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. Lord. Lord. Don't y'all love God today? Amen. Amen. What did you say, sir? Yeah. <laughs> Since you said that, Rod, you're not to read now. <laughs> 15, start with verse 45. Chapter 16. Chapter 15, verse, verse 45. And so it is written the first man, Adam, became a living being. The last Adam became a life-giving spirit. However, the spiritual is not first, but the natural, and afterward the spiritual. The first man was of the earth, made of dust. The second man is the Lord from heaven. As was the man of dust, so also are those who are made of dust. And is the heavenly man, so also are those who are heavenly. And as we have wow. borne the image of the man of dust, we also bear the image of the heavenly man. Amen. Whoa. Yeah. Amen. That's beautiful. I don't remember reading that. Yeah, keep going. <laughs> now this I say, brothers, that flesh and blood cannot inherit the kingdom of God, mm -hmm. nor does corruption inherit incorruption. Mm -hmm. Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. Mm -hmm. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye at the last trumpet, Whoa. for the trumpet will sound and the dead will be raised incorruptible and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption and this mortal must put on immortality. So when this corruptible has put on incorruption and this mortal has put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that is written, Death is swallowed up in victory. <laughs> Yeah, where is your sting? <laughs> oh, Hades, where is your victory? The Lord of mercy. Uh, the sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God who gives us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Therefore, my beloved brothers, be steadfast, immovable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, knowing that your labor is not in vain in the Lord. Amen. Oh, somebody say, I love the Lord. I love the Lord. Is that good news? He said, don't be earthy. Earthy means don't be carnal. Don't be fleshy. Don't be fleshy. Yes. It's in your mind what is the devil set up his shop. Oh, Jesus, help us. Go me to 2 Corinthians chapter 4. Oh, anything that Lord did to you. Amen. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. 
Oh, All right. Y'all got it? Yeah. Okay. Well, hold on one second then. <laughs> <laughs> All righty. Come on, sister. Me? Yeah, you. For what? <laughs> For what? Okay. Verse 6. Well, go to verse 5. Says, For we do not preach ourselves, but Christ Jesus the Lord, and ourselves your bondservants for Jesus' sake. Amen. For it is God who commanded light to shine out of darkness, Amen. who has shown in our hearts to give the light of the knowledge of the glory of God in the face of Jesus Christ. Wow. Look what he's saying. I took you out of the dark and I put my light in you. Right. You and me will be a light. Shining in dark places. Mm -hmm. Amen. You and me. Amen. But you got to live righteous. Yes. Amen. You can start living righteous. We're in the last day, y'all. Amen. Whether you want to believe this or not. Yeah. All you got to do is look at the Middle East right now. <laughs> look at your own hometown right now. Yeah. Look at your own country. <laughs> All the prophecy is coming to pass as we speak and as we stand here right now. Yeah. Everything that Daniel said, everything Ezekiel said, everything Isaiah said is happening right before us right now. Amen. All happened. You can't deny it. Nope. Are you with me, church? Yes, sir. Y'all see y'all love the Lord today? Yes, sir. Oh, hallelujah. Come on, Jesus. Help me with this other one now. Here we go. 2 Corinthians chapter 10. Y'all love the Lord? Yes. I like to have fun. I do. All right. <laughs> Jesus. Wake up, son. Just because you're young, you got to you got to read this now. <laughs> Lord have mercy. Glory to God. Verse 3. 2 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 3. Verse 3. For though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through God to the pulling down of strongholds. Casting down imaginations in every high thing that exalted itself against the knowledge of God and bringeth into captivity every thought to the obedience of Christ. Yes. Keep going. And having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience with your, when your obedience is fulfilled, do ye look on things after the outward appearance? If any man trusts in himself that he is Christ, let him, let him of himself think this again. That as he is Christ, even so are we Christ. Hallelujah, Jesus. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Well, look what he said. If you fall out the flesh, you're going to go You die. He said, but he said, for the weapon of your warfare, they're not more common. But they're mighty to God to pull it down them, them, them what? Them Amen. idols in your head. Amen. Them Amen. idols. Yes, Amen. Lord. Amen. Yes, Lord. He's still sleeping. The way you put an O to it. Uh. <laughs> God help us. Galatians. Galatians chapter 5. Yeah. Oh, hallelujah. <laughs> Make a right. Oh, I love Jesus. Chapter 5. Come on, Brother Ricky. Verse 15. Okay. But if ye bite and devour one another, Take heed that ye be not consumed one of another. Wow. This I say then, walk in the Spirit, and ye shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. Now what is the lust of the flesh? Watch this. Keep going. For the flesh lusteth against the Spirit, and the Spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one to the other, so that ye cannot do the things that ye would. But if ye be led of the Spirit, you are not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these, adultery, Fornication, uncleanliness, lavishness, idolatry, mm. witchcraft, hatred, variance, immolations, wrath, strife, sedition, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, re revelings, and such like, of the which I tell you before, as I have told you in the time past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. But the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, Long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such there is no law. And they that are Christ have crucified the flesh with the affections and lusts. 
If we live in the Spirit, <coughs> let us also walk in the Spirit. Let us not be desirous of vainglory, provoking one another, envying one another. Amen. 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 I mean, it's self-explanatory. <laughs> oh, you hear me, church? He said, "This is stuff you got to get away from." This was in this was in the flesh, adultery, fornication, Leviticus. Can I say something? Ain't no kid in here tonight. I don't think so. Uh, but I, I don't think he. But anyway, okay, cover his ears. I'm gonna be straight up with you. That one word is self with yourself. That's what it means. That one word in there. Pleasure yourself. And God says, such as do these things should not inherit the kingdom of God. Mm. Now, we talk about the kingdom of God going into heaven. No, that's kingdom stuff that you won't even tap into on this earth. Mm. Amen. It'll block you out. Amen. Mm -hmm. yep. Are you with me? Yes, yes sir. Oh, y'all sure y'all love the Lord today. Yes, sir. Is he good to you? No. Yes, sir. Oh, Jesus. <clears throat> Ephesians. Chapter 4. I tell you, I wanted to change my message. I did not want to preach it tonight. I had a whole other message I wanted to. In fact, I had about five more messages I wanted to preach. And the Lord would not let me. I kept coming to this, kept coming to this. Every time I turned back, I said, okay, Lord, I'll teach you. You know what he's saying? You know saying? And son, I'm talking to you too. Amen. When you read this, it's for you too. Amen. 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 Uh oh, here we go, y'all. Some of you get mad at me now, but that's okay. <laughs> Brother Jeff. Yes, sir. Start with verse 24. Go ahead. Chapter Ephesians 4. Ephesians 4 24. And that you put on the new man, which was created according to God in true righteousness and holiness. Therefore, putting away lying. Let each one of you speak truth with his neighbor, for we are members of one another. Be angry, but do not sin. Do not let the sun go down on your life. Stop with that for a second. Stop with that for a second. the Bible says, don't go to bed angry. Amen. Look what he tell you. Don't let the sun go down on your anger. Amen. That's what God is saying. Don't get mad. If you're going to get mad, get mad at God. He wrote I'm just telling you tell what he said. Amen. 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 Don't go to bed angry. He said, when you go to bed, Father, if I'm angry at anybody, forgive me. Lord, forgive me. But we hold stuff in. And notice when you don't let it go in the morning, it's worse. Amen. Amen. Then the next Amen. day, it's worse. And then every time you hear that person's name, something inside you start moving around. You get, you get that feeling in your chest and your throat, like I want to hurt him. It's anger. Amen. Hee <laughs> hee. <laughs> What verse we in now? 26. Go for it. Well, be Peter. Be angry and do not sin. Do not let the sun go down in your path, <coughs> nor give place to the devil. This is when the devil can, and this is when he come in and start messing with you right here. Mm -hmm. When you go to bed angry, you're giving place to the devil. You are. Mm -hmm. Watch this now. Keep going. Let him who stole steal no longer, <laughs> but rather let him labor, working with his hands what is good. That he may have something to give to him who has no who has need. Okay. Let no corrupt word proceed out of your mouth, but what is good for the necessary edification, that it may impart grace to the hearers. And do not grieve the Holy Spirit of God, oh, by whom you were sealed for the day of redemption. Let all bitterness, wrath, anger, clamor, evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be kind to one another, tender-hearted, forgiving one another, even as God in Christ forgave you. Oh, Amen. 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 Mm. Look what he said. Mm. Quit running people down. Amen. Right. Quit talking about people. Right. Child, let me tell you something. This is a serious thing. Yes. Mm -hmm. And I can prove you know, in the Word of God that everything that comes out of your mouth is being judged by God. The Bible said, not that which goes into the man defiles the man, but that which coming out of the mouth yes. is defiled the man. And what come out of you can read that when you go home. Read it. He said, what come out of the man? Lust, adultery, mm -hmm. lying. Are mm -hmm. oh, y'all getting this tonight? Amen. Yes, sir. This is how you get free. You got to crucify. But Jesus said, crucify the flesh. The Bible says, take up your cross daily and follow him. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you, every day you don't read, every day you don't pray. 
you go backwards. Come on. Amen. You're going backwards. Yeah. And then you start asking this question. Who preaching tonight? <laughs> Who preaching tonight? I let you know you don't want to hear from them. When you start asking the question, who's preaching tonight? You don't want to hear from them. Because that person is about to do something for God through you, for you, but sometimes we shut them off. Mm. Oh, you hear me? Yes, sir. We want to come when it's easy. Mm -hmm. A little sweet, nice, cute sermon. Mm -hmm. Not going to happen. Don't step on my toes. Not going to happen. Have I messed up my Christian life? You better believe I have. Mm -hmm. Not going to happen, doctor. <laughs> Praise to Jesus. Are you sure y'all love God today? Yes, sir. Yes. Oh, come on, Jesus. I'm, I'm not going to be here too many long. I'm going to let y'all go ahead in a minute. Oh, what be going, Lord? Help me, Holy Spirit. Help me, help me, help me. Thank you, Jesus. Praise you. What a mighty God we serve. Yes. Well, I say, what a mighty God we serve. Yes. yes. The angel bow before him. James chapter 1. Mm -hmm. Glory. Hallelujah. Glory. Come on, my sister. You ready? Which verse? Uh, uh just oh, two. come on, start with verse eight. A double-minded man is unstable in all yes. his ways. Keep going. Let the brother of low degree rejoice <coughs> in that he is exalted. But the rich, in that he is made low, because as the flower of the grass, he shall pass away. For the sun is no sooner risen with a burning heat, but it withereth the grass, and the flower thereof falleth, and the grace of the fashion of it perisheth. So also shall the rich man fade away in his ways. Blessed is the man that endureth temptation. For when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, oh, it is. which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Yeah. Mm. Let no man say when he is tempted, I am tempted of God. For God cannot be tempted with evil, neither tempteth he any man. But every man is tempted when he is, is drawn away of his own lust and enticed. Mm. Then when lust hath conceived, it bringeth forth sin, and sin, when it is finished, bringeth forth death. Oh my goodness, y'all see this? That's what happened. Well, watch what he say. <coughs> Let that man say not, God cannot be tempted, and even he tempted about it. <coughs> but look what he say. But the Bible says you're drawn away with your own lust. See, Satan knows your weakness. So what does he do? He tempts you in that area. He can't tempt you in the area that you're strong in. He tempts you in the area that you always yield yourself to. Right. Satan tempts you. But the Bible says you're drawn up with your own lust. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Nobody can make you do drugs. You can be driving on the road and all of a sudden that, 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 that craving hits you. That craving hits you. When that craving hits you, there's a demon in your car which is tempting you. Because he knows you still have problems in that area. So he tempts you. He speaks to your head. He knows. That's an idol right there. So he talked to the idol. Mm -hmm. And then you yield to it. Mm -hmm. And then about it, you become a slave to it. Mm -hmm. He can't make you do anything. He can only tempt you. But the Bible, the Bible says, Blessed the man that endures the temptation. Yes, sir. Do I get tempted? How about all the time? Brother Sherry, we need to never talk to you. How about every day? Well, what do you do? I talk back to him. <clears throat> I told you about the time I was sitting in my house watching John Wayne. <laughs> That'll be the day. <laughs> and I'm watching John Wayne. I got the remote control in my hand. All of a sudden, now, I'm 10 years free now. I had you know, coke in 10 years. And all of a sudden, I began to smell it in my house. And I started doing this. You know how when you do that coke? You start doing your nose like this. You know, 
drink your tea. And I felt that in my house. And then it got stronger and stronger. And then the smell got heavier, heavier. And then the feeling. I said, wait a minute. I know who this is. <laughs> this is your old coke devil. My used to be partner. I said, don't you leave. And then he spoke in my ear and said, you have lost the anointing to get people saved and filled with the Holy Spirit. I heard that voice. You're going to think I'm making this up, but I'm telling you the gospel truth here tonight. I don't you leave. I said, in the name of Jesus, get down on your belly when I'm talking to you right now. In the name of Jesus, I command you to get on your belly. Hmm. And all of a sudden, I start praying because you're going to choke on this tonight. I start praying, God, I'm telling you, my house vibrate from a demon present. You can hear in my floor. Sound like heels. Somebody like heel hitting the floor. Hmm. So what do you do? When I say in the name of Jesus go, I'll tell you a bullet cannot leave that gun that fast. Don't you sit here and tell me that they don't visit you. They do. Are you here in church? They will visit you and you think it's all you. It is you, but there's a devil involved too. But guess what? Are you ready for this? You have to yield to it first before he can do anything. And I can show you something in the Bible. But the Bible said this Satan cannot make you do anything. And that you yield to it first. You have to yield to it. Then the Bible says you become a slave. You become a slave. And watch what he does. All of a sudden you say, I'm going to stop doing this. All of a sudden you get a phone call from one of your buddies. Mm -hmm. Could be somebody in your family. Hey man, I got some stuff. And I always say, you know, soon they tell you that, the little feeling goes off inside of you. You start you start getting happy. You think that's a Increase, I decrease the God will increase. Amen. Hey, John say, I die daily. Ooh. Daily. I die daily. The Bible say, you some cocaine. No, I'm not doing no cocaine in Jesus' name. I'm not your boy anymore. I'm not your slave anymore. In Jesus' name. But brother Shabby Long, <laughs> how do I stop this stuff from happening to me? Have faith. 
I'm so glad you asked that question. <laughs> <laughs> because the Tennessee Walker have an answer for you. <laughs> We're already to James, so go to James chapter 7. <laughs> James 7. Then we're going to close with this one. See, I didn't keep you here a long time, did I? Did you say James 7? James 7. Mm -hmm. there is no there is no James seven. seven. Wait a minute. James 4, my bad. Four. I just want to see if y'all paying attention. Uh, yeah. <laughs> did you speak about that again? Yeah, yeah, I did. <laughs> yeah, I did want to make sure. Y'all got it, y'all got it. Four, seven, <laughs> it's the horse. See, I didn't get, I didn't get my oats today. <laughs> Nor my sweet feet. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. <laughs> the teacher didn't get his oats. Uh, look at verse seven. Submit yourself, therefore. Everybody say, therefore. 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 Unto who? God. 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 And resist the what? The devil. He'll do what? Flee for me. Somebody read verse eight. Draw nigh unto God. Go ahead. Draw nigh to God, and He will draw nigh to you. Cleanse your hands, ye sinners, and purify your hearts, ye double-minded. Be afflicted and mourn, and weep. Let your laughter be turned to mourning, and your joy to heaviness. Humble yourselves in the sight of the Lord, and He shall lift you up. Oh, one more, one more, one more. Speak not evil one of another, brethren. He that speaketh evil of, evil of his brother and judges his brother speaketh evil evil of the law and judges the law. But if thou judge the law, thou art not a doer of the law, but a judge. Keep going. There is one lawgiver who is able to save and to destroy. Who art thou that judgest another? Go to now, ye that say, today or tomorrow we will go into such a city and continue there a year, and buy and sell and get gain. Whereas ye know not what ye know not what yet what shall be on the morrow, for what is your life? It is even a, a vapor that appeared for a little time and then vanished away. For that ye ought to say, if the Lord will, we shall live and do this or that. Amen. But now ye rejoice in your boastings. All such rejoicing is evil. Therefore to him that know, knoweth to do good and doeth it not, it, to him it is sin. Oh my Lord Jesus. Amen. <coughs> Are you hearing me tonight, church? Amen, Amen. sir. Submit yourself unto God resist and resist nicotine. <laughs> resist drugs. I resist you, nicotine, Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, I resist you. I resist you in Jesus' name. Lust, I resist you in Jesus' name. I resist you in Jesus' name. Call from my mind. Anger, I resist you. I resist you. Doubt from belief, I resist you in Jesus' name. Amen. Until you learn to talk like that, you always going to go back up. Keep calling yourself going, doing the same thing. Over and over and over and over and over and over because you hadn't dealt with that flesh. And then the Bible say, some kind don't come out by fasting and praying. He ain't talking about that guy trying to catch the devil out. The fasting and praying is getting you free. Amen. Amen. When you start fasting and praying, you're crucifying the flesh. Yeah. That's what you're doing. You're crucifying the flesh. Mm. All us God that, <coughs> that God called us to be a preacher, man, I'm telling you right now, you can't be letting people see what you're doing. When they do see you, you need to see you walking in, in righteousness. See you walking in the authority of God. Mm. See you walking in pureness. Not telling nasty jokes and cussing around them. The Bible says, let all filters go away from your mouth. That means cussing. Amen. Amen. Every bit of that. Are y'all here today? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Some of y'all don't like this kind of message, but I'm telling you, it's your flesh. It is your flesh. If you, like I say, if you're here today right now, you're here right now, and you don't feel like being here, your flesh talking to you. And the devil. I'm trying to get you free. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. The number one person you be set free from is yourself. Hallelujah. Yourself is in the way more than the devil's in the way. Amen. In another way, and I'm going to close, I promise you. In another way, the devil comes in. Y'all ready for this? Yes. He comes in through your eyes, your ears, your mouth, 
and the company you keep. That's how you get sick. He comes in, but I want you to look at it. Watch porno, pornography, and then watch yourself in the middle of the night getting up. You know what I'm talking about. Watch yourself go to bed having dreams about it. Mm -hmm. You wake up in the morning thinking about it. All that day you're thinking about it. And then something drive you back to it. And drive you to it. And drive you 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 and drive you. Thank you, Jesus. Are you here? How about this one? Right where you get to eat. Don't let smoke. I love y'all. I ain't going to eat nobody down. As soon as you get to eat, you got to have a smoke. Why? Because it's idle in your mind. He don't set up shop in your mind. That's when he's talking to you, right there. You want to get free from this stuff? Mm -hmm. You got to start dealing with your mind. How you deal with your mind? You got to start renewing your mind today, day by day with the Word of God. You got to renew your mind day by day with the Word of God. That's how you get rid of this stuff. You got to replace that stuff with the Word. If you don't replace that with the Word, you always going to do what you got set free from. God said, I didn't set you free from fear to bondage to fear again. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. Mm -hmm. Y'all love the Lord tonight? Yes. Mm -hmm. Everybody stand to your feet, please. Thank you, God. Glory to God Almighty. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus forever. Blessed be the name of the Lord Jesus forevermore. Almighty God, we serve you. Mm -hmm. And see, and we want the preacher to always lay hand on us to get us free. When is it flesh? Mm -hmm. It's the dumb flesh. The preacher can lay hands on you, and I want to, and the power of God can zap you. Now let me ask this question. What are you going to do when the zap go away? <laughs> are you hear me? Amen. And the time you want the preacher to lay hands on you, that means, like I said last week, you're looking for the preacher to do it. The best healer and the best deliverer in the world is when you cry out to God for yourself. Amen. Because you'll keep it. Amen. Because you had to work, you had to fight. Mm -hmm. So, Brother Sheriff, you had to fight for I had to fight, guys. I had to fight. I had to fight since I've been here. In fact, this is probably one of the second place in the 29 years I've been preaching that I had to fight more than I ever fight anywhere. I'm telling you. The first place was sent for North Carolina. The second place was here. Remember I told you the Lord woke me up and showed me who was talking about me? I thought I don't want to see no more. I don't hear no more. I don't want to see because I don't want to hate them. I don't want to be mad at them. Ask them look, show me their faces, those that were running me down. Show them to me. But you'll never know because I won't come and tell you. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to love you. I'm just going to love you, love you, love you, love you, love you. I choose to walk in love. Amen. And the Lord has shown me, when I get around certain people, I see some people start running from me, getting away from me. Like I'm going to judge them and beat them up. <laughs> or bite them in the neck and suck blood out of them. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote your blood. <laughs> My name is Black Alert. <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> Lord have mercy Jesus. Jesus. I just love people, man. Because I really believe with all my heart that you can love hell right out of somebody. Amen. I believe that with all my heart. I look at the good and everybody. I don't care how mean you are. Do you remember when Samson killed the lion? How many remember the story when Samson killed the lion? Everybody used to know that story. Amen. Amen. Oh, snap! <laughs> now watch this. But Samson's mother needed some honey. But he couldn't find none. Mm -hmm. Samson goes to open that lion and get the honey out of that lion. Mm -hmm. Guess what? As mean as that lion was, he had some sweetness in him. <laughs> are you kidding me? As mean as you are, bad as you are, angry as you are, there's a whole lot of sweetness in you that wants it to come out. Amen. 
and the devil just got you in a wall wow. so you can't see it. Wow, that's and you get mad at awesome. everything and all that sweetness trying to come out of you, but you're in a cave, a wall around you, mm. and you can't even see that God is trying to help you because you got these walls up. You're too angry. You're mad. You're short-tempered. You're cussing. You're this. You're this. And God loves you so much that he's still after you. Amen. Amen. Still Amen. after you. God will never hurt you. Never shame you. Never beat you up. Never beat you down. Like I've been saying this for months and months and months. You can cuss God out right now. In the next breath, he'll tell you he loves you. And the Bible says nothing can separate you from the love of God. Nothing. No demons, no height, no principality, no power, no poverty, no shame, no guilt, no death. Nothing can separate you from the love of Almighty God. He loves you just that much. Amen. He loves you so much, Brother Rob, that he sent his son. You know what I mean? Yeah. Took our place. Hung on a tree for us. I almost said cream. <laughs> he hung on that tree for you and me. And look what he said. Father, forgive them, for they know not what they've done. Even though they put me on the cross, even though they beat me till I'm recognized, I don't like a human being anymore. They beat me. They stabbed me. They pulled my beard off. They put thorns in my head. They nailed my feet together. Whew. Hallelujah. And what did he say? Even when they did all that to me, beat me down like that, kicked me, whipped me all night long. He said, God, forgive them. Forgive them. He talked about some love. The Bible said he could have called a whole legion of angels down and wiped us out. But he didn't. He's talking about love. He took your place so you don't have to go to that place. And we can't even tell him we love him. We can't even talk to him. He did all that for us and we ignore him. Hallelujah. You paid a price for your job. Amen. Amen. Praise Thank you, Jesus. You paid a price for you. Right. You paid a price. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Amen. You know how you not to go to bed tonight without saying, Jesus, thank you for what you did for me. Jesus. What a great king. What a great friend. What a great Lord. He is magnificent. He's marvelous. He's awesome. He's wonderful. And I'm telling you, y'all be hearing me saying for months. He ain't mad at you. He's not mad at you. He loves you. He loves you. He loves you. He wild about you. All he wants to do is spend some time. All he wants to do is hear, hear, hear you talk to him. He ain't got to be all crazy. He says, Lord, I just want to tell you today. I want to thank you for what you've done for me. I want to thank you that you give me my right mind and the right body. I want to thank you, Lord. You woke me up this morning. Lord, you gave me a roof over my head. You put food in my belly tonight. Lord, I want to thank you for your goodness. Amen. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. But pride will not let you do that. Oh. Anyway, way, Jesus, that wasn't good enough. You need to do it and do it again. Father, I thank you tonight. In the name of Jesus, for all these people here tonight. I thank you for your goodness. I thank you for your kindness. I thank you for your mercy, your grace, your compassion, your faithfulness, your patience that you have with us. I thank you that you said in your word that you are slow to anger. I want to thank you for your goodness and mercy to always follow us everywhere we go. I thank you for that mighty grace. I thank you for that new mercy, that new faithfulness, Lord. I thank you for it. Thank you for your name. Thank you for your word. Thank you for your kindness, Lord. Oh God, you will move with compassion to heal the mother too. Thank you for your compassion. Thank you for that great mighty love, Jesus. And I want to tell you tonight, Lord Jesus, that I personally love you. I thank you for being here tonight. And Father, you said in your word that whatever I loose on earth shall be loose in heaven. Father, I loose the miracle healing power of God in their body tonight. In the name of Jesus. 
I loose the spirit of compassion on them tonight. The spirit of love in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Father God, I thank you for your mighty mercy upon them today. I pray right now, God. You said in your word that if I ask anything in the name of Jesus Christ, you said I will do it. Father, that could be somebody here right now that blaming you for everything. I ask right now that you will manifest yourself to that person or those people, whoever it, whoever it is. Manifest yourself, God. And let them know that you ain't got nothing to do with what, what caused them the problem. Lord, open up their eyes. Open up their eyes, Jesus. I pray, God, that you visit them. Send your angel, God, to them. Send your angel. In the name of Jesus. Let them know, God. That you love them. That you want to be with them. That you want to be in them. Thank you, Father. For your mighty goodness and mercy and grace. Now, Father, I plead the blood of Jesus on everyone. See, I don't have to lay hands on you all. See, we got to, we got to get away from everybody to lay hands on you. The Bible says I can loose it. Yes, amen. All you got to do is just receive it. Amen. 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 Receive it. I receive my healing. I receive my health. I receive my strength. I receive my mind healed. I receive my intestine healed. My heart healed. I receive it. In the name of Jesus. Be it. How many believe that? Right here. Be it done unto you in the name of Jesus. God bless you. Have a great night. Amen.